All right, journey to a Malaysian mall during CMCO. Um, what do we expect, Ivana? What do you expect? Mm. Crowded, empty, mm. chaos? I think it will be empty. Empty? I think people are still afraid to go out. But again, it's almost Eid, which is the Hari Raya, the big celebration after um, the Ramadan. Mm. And everyone needs new clothes, so it might be busy too. Interesting. I can <laughs> tell you one thing. Three weeks ago, I went to KLCC during MCO and there was like no cars on the road mm -hmm. so I'm already seeing this much action this much life I feel like there might be some people I don't think it'll be empty but we'll see oh. I would say I would guess you know all of the Malaysian people are going to be following the rules based on the past two months of lockdown in Malaysia I think everyone will be following the rules if there's lines on the ground for like waiting in line people will follow them if there's a sign that says don't stand close together people will do it I um, even look at the, the amount of cars parked here for yeah. people to take the LRT. Exactly. So it might be crowded. I don't know. It might be crowded. Three weeks ago on the LRT, there was like six people on the entire train and we all sat like spaced apart. So we'll see what the LRT is like. There was got cars all on it. Yeah. We'll see what the LRT is like. We'll see what the BRT is like. And we'll see what Sunway Pyramid is like. All right, let's do it. Safety first, mask on. 11 a.m. on a weekday, totally empty. Feel like this is unusual. Yeah, we're the only one in this station right now. Oh, I can't sit beside Ivana. Ah. Pretty empty train, I would say. Everybody's spaced out, everybody's following the rules. Okay, here we go. Okay, this one's got some people in it. USJ7, got some action. You know what the problem is with these masks, Ivana? You can't tell people's facial expressions. Watch, try and guess if I'm smiling or if I'm giving you a dirty look. Okay, look at me. Watch, watch. Dirty look. Okay, 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 not, not try, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, try a couple more. <laughs> You're smiling. No, dirty look, I was like this, I was like this. <laughs> Hard to say, right? That's the issue with the mask. Okay, and guess. also it's super hot, I'm like sweating. <laughs> <laughs> and super hot is right true. <laughs> anyway, safety first, always wear the mask. Empty bus with social distancing uh, stickers on the seats. Oh, I didn't even notice. Designated standing spots as well. Designated sitting and designated standing. Thank you. Okay, safety first. Good job. Well, we're in the mall now. After they took our temperature. Yeah, what was yours? I don't know. Oh, I saw mine. 35. Oh, really? 35. Is that a good score? What's the normal know. one? I think 35. I don't know. Okay, interesting experience. Just went to get a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Took my temperature again. Okay, that's fine. And he says, in order to get the cup of coffee, you have to download this app. Yeah, I think it's, it's to trace people, just in case you get coronavirus. Ah. Yeah. I was like, that's okay, I'll get it somewhere else. <laughs> I'm not sure it's from the virus or it's just from, it's just the company that wants you to have their app. No, I think it's from the virus. Interesting. Yeah. Well, if I have to download the app to get a cup of coffee, I'll not have a <laughs> cup of coffee. Okay, update. We figured out why they wanted me to download an app. It's called mm -hmm. contact tracing. They just want to know what stores I went to in case there's an outbreak. Mm -hmm. So almost every store has that same uh, app download, except if they don't, they'll make you write down your name and write down your phone number mm -hmm. so they can still trace where you've been. Right. I was thinking, man, you got to download something to get a cup of coffee? No, no, no. It's They want mm -hmm. to know exactly what store you've been to. So if there is an outbreak, they can tell yeah. where you interacted, where you spread it, and try to keep everybody safe. And okay. You have to do it on every store that you go in. Got it. Okay. Right. False alarm. I thought it was just like a crazy store, <laughs> but it makes perfect sense. Okay. So we managed to find some coffee without downloading an app or writing our name down and where we've been. Um, I think the first coffee shop we went to thought I wanted to sit in their store. 
reason we got this because we took it away. So if you just go there, pick up a coffee and leave, they're okay. But if you want to sit in their store, they want to know where you've been and if you download an app. Honestly, I'm not sure, hard for me to say. Obviously, I want safety is so important and part of this contact tracing makes sense that you want to see where people have been. But something about me, when you say download the app so I can see where you've been and track you, I just feel like they're spying on me and I have no freedom and I feel like resistant to it. Honestly, I don't even own a cell phone. I don't have a cell phone. So, well, that's I'm how like, it is in the, that's how it works in the modern world. It's a digital uh, world this day. Your phone so. is spying on you. It's tracking your emails. It's listening to you. It's giving you ads based on the things you say. And now they want to actually for me to download an app to track me. It's hard for me to say don't download it because safety is so important. We have to fight the virus. <laughs> At the same time, I'm like, I don't want to download an app on my phone so they can see where I've been. It's spooky. It's hard to say. It's like, uh, yeah. I can't well, give you a good answer. There's no privacy these days. There's no privacy these days. And now they're not even, like, they're just saying, yeah, download it. We're going to spy on you. <laughs> once the Are virus, you okay with it? I would be worried once the virus goes away, they just keep spying on you. That's what I'd be worried about. If they're going to just spy on me for the virus and then once it's over, sure. But I feel like... Once the virus goes away, that technology is there and they're going to track you and use your data to see, you know, what think, sales I think and what ads. that's probably going to be anyway. Like I know, I think years. you're right. The future looks so spooky, years. man. We get diseases, we get technology, we got all this stuff. Anyway, okay. I just wanted to mention that. I'm like, I don't want to say it's bad to download the app because it's certainly hey, safe. It, but It's part of the new normal. It's part of the new normal. The new normal is just the increasing the government surveillance on you. There you have it. <laughs> okay, let's go find the SIM card we came for. drink a coffee with a mask on you have to take it off you can put a hole through <laughs> the hole really defeats the purpose of the mask <laughs> Ivana mm -hmm. are you feeling it feeling what I have a really funny feeling I feel amazing I got a cup of coffee I'm in a mall I'm trying to make Ivana laugh doing stupid okay. things with a mask I can't believe how much I missed this. I never realized going back to normal, this wow. feels amazing. And this... you don't even like malls. I hate malls. <laughs> I would never go to the mall. This is the best experience I've ever had on a mall. Things wow. are going back to normal. There's people around. Everyone's following the rules. Honestly, when everything is taken away, okay, not everything is taken away. Because you're finally out of the house. Out of the house again. I didn't yeah. realize how stir crazy I was going. Not everything was taken away, just some things. Yeah. Obviously, I just, just couldn't go out. But you now were... they were allowed out again, I'm like loving it. I didn't realize how, honestly, Ivana, things were going really good before the virus, weren't they? Yeah. Things were going really good. And then I went inside and I was like, oh, I'm so bored in here, it sucks, <laughs> I want to travel. Well, now that I'm walking through a mall, a place that, like you said, I hate, I have an amazing feeling. Hmm. I think when, pe when it goes back to normal, people are going to be really grateful. That's true. That's true. Be grateful what a for nice what feeling. you have. Be grateful for what you have. Just walking around, seeing people buying stuff, seeing people. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize simply getting out of the house would be this exhilarating. Wow. Cheers. Very exciting day. Cheers, Ivana. Cheers. Ding. So, Ivana, is this what you expected? Uh, yeah, so people are out already, but it's not crowded as usual. It's not normal yet. Right. I yeah. feel bad for restaurants. Restaurants are empty. They're open. There's a, usually a person standing there like waiting for someone to come. Uh -huh. They have like X's on the seats, like separating every second seat, same as in the bus. Or they have entire tables closed, but nobody's going to a restaurant. I mean, restaurants yeah. might be one of the last ones to get people to go back. It's just so... When That's you're true. having an eating experience at a restaurant, it's so anti-social distancing. You're going to be sitting with someone, laughing with them, eating with them. Yeah, most people will maybe take out or do grab food. Take out. Yeah. That's a good point. Some of these restaurants probably have a lot of takeout customers. Maybe they're doing okay. I That's feel bad true. for the people who work in restaurants and don't have any shifts because they, they need less staff for sure. There's no customers. I mm -hmm. mean, people are struggling, man. But we yeah. were here before the virus, before the lockdown. This place was bumping, yeah, crowded, it was, it was busy, more lively. lively. So it's certainly suffering. I mean, you can end the lockdown, but you can't force people to go out. If they feel scared and they don't want to go out, yeah. You can open the restaurants, but people aren't going to fill them necessarily. Yeah, the reason they open malls, like uh, the government opened most businesses now, is because the economy is suffering. 
Yep. So they started to introduce all this business and opening it up, you right. know, little by little, slowly. But I guess opening it is only half the story. The other half is encouraging customers to yeah. actually go. I mean, it's pretty empty in here. I would say one thing, all the lines on the ground when there's a lineup at a store, everyone's obeying the rules, no one's acting yeah. obnoxious, which is what we expected. Our experience with Malaysian people have been, they're pretty respectful and they're mm -hmm. going to do the right thing. So, I mean, this is it. It's just kind of eerie. Yeah. It's like this huge mall, super fancy, all these nice decorations and there's like almost yeah. no one in and it. Some like, stores still closed. Some stores still closed. Are still closed, yeah. So it's like before and after. We've been here before the lockdown and now we're here at the CMCO. Yay. There you have it, guys. Okay, thanks for watching our video. We got what we came for. We came for a new SIM card. Yeah, new SIM card. Because the U-Mobile SIM card we had was like <laughs> atrociously slow. So, so we, we got, got a Maxis. From Maxis. There you oh. have it. So we got what we came for. We'll just go straight home and not uh, explore too much. But we will try and uh, stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next vlog, everybody. Bye. Bye.